I want to add one more hit reaction animation and make it randomized. Only this time I'm going to look for the keyword death. I'll try this one out, zombie death. Download 60 frames per second. I'm going to drag it into my humanoid animations folder. Humanoid animations, drag it in. Zombie death. Turn it into humanoid. Configure. Make sure everything is green. Go into the animation tab. Rename it zombie death. And obviously we're not going to use the entire animation. Just the first few frames. Oops. Okay, I'm going to go into the hit reaction animator, the folder. Let me create a new animator. Animator controller. This time it's called zombie death. Let me rename the tilt. This is head hit. And for the zombie death, I'm going to drag in the zombie death animation. And just like what we did in the previous video, I'm going to drag in the idle animation. And we're going to go from the hit reaction back to idle. Adjust the graph. This should be slower, maybe 70%. It's a shorter animation, so I made it slower than the hit reaction, the, the previous hit reaction. Okay, this looks fine. And again, we're going to go to idle, add the two abilities, which are switching, switching to the default animator, as well as the ground detector. And now I'm going to go into the damage detector to randomize the index. I'm going to go down to the part where we're changing. where we're changing the animator, this line. And instead of using zero, I'm going to get a random number. And that random number is based on the size of the list. Range between zero to the size, depending on how many items are in the list. So with the current list, we're going to get a random number between zero and one. Save, and I'm going to go back to Unity. Make sure that we add the animator to the list. So I'm going to go to the default Y-Bot Yellow. Here's the list. Size is 2. And I'm going to add the Zombie Death Animator. And because this is the original, the variants, Sophie, and Ybot, they should both have the two animators in, in the list now. Okay. And if I play, we should now have a randomized hit reaction. Either the zombie death or the head hit. Okay, it's kind of hard to tell. But it looks like one of them kind of leans towards the left and the other one kind of leans towards the right. And let me turn on AI and see if it works. Okay, looks like it's working fine. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.